Alright, so these three tro trolling motors, which is kind of an overkill. The white one here is a rip tie, and that goes to that big boat there. But it's going to have the same plug as what I'm using for the uh, freshwater bass boat. I recently purchased this other one here, Minn Kota Marine. Um, the reason why is that uh, I am having problems with my old one here, my other Minn Kota. This motor has been with me for some 21 odd years. Uh, great little motor. Uh, probably one of the best motors that uh, Minn Kota has made. It still works. Uh, I need a PC board on it. So I figure once this one completely goes bad, I'll start salvaging parts off of this one and putting it in, into this one here. This one basically, someone had it in a warehouse, had been in the original box. The only thing missing on it was the pedal. Um, I tested it, it works well. Um, the only thing I ended up putting on this was there were some bushings that holds, holds the uh, actual control controller there box. Um, I will set that one up as well as the one that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm hoping I could find a PC board for that motor there. Uh, it'll be a shame to get rid of it uh, or destroy it, but we'll see what happens. Great motors, guys. I tell you, if you come across them, definitely worth uh, buying. They're very reliable. Um, you know, they're. I tell you, they work great. They, they've served me well. This one here, especially, has served me well. I've had it for a long time. I didn't even buy this new. I bought it refur refurbished back up north. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna set these up. And then I'm gonna go out back there and test them again. All right, guys. It's really important to make sure that when you rig the the new plug to the old wire, that you're gonna sequence them the same way the plug that you installed them both. You want to make sure that your positive will be positive. There's actually numbers behind these plugs. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, but basically, what I did is I, I labeled the number one as my hot wire and number two as my um, as my negative. Uh, what's nice about these plugs is that you eliminate this muck of tape and uh, connectors because it, it, it once you cut the wire, it goes right into the back of this thing and it's it's just really nice, it's smooth and don't have this ugly setup and eventually in time what happens with tape with moisture and all it comes apart so I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna put in the new plug and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards alright guys so this is what the wiring looks like you know number one is for the hot and number two for the black I got the boot, so I just got to slide it over and then take this motor out and test it out and then do the other to uh, do the other motor. Okay guys, I ran into a little problem here. I was trying to save myself by giving myself some extra length here with the last plug I had, but it uh the positive side came off from the connector. And I should have done it from the get-go. Just go ahead and cut it here and connect directly with new wires. So I got to go back to the drawing board on this. But um, that shouldn't take too long for me to take care of. All right, so we'll see what happens here. Well, here it is. Final, send, solid. Did have a little problem with the wiring. It was really thick and I had to kind of modify some some behind the plug it's a little bit of the uh, liquid tape but um, it seems to work all well I'll come around here a minute I'll show you there's the pedal there's the head so I can turn it around 
and let's clear that prop away from there and you can actually see the prop moving so it's all good and that's basically what it is um, nicer plug uh, compared to the old one and um, can't wait to get this on the water and see how it works.